Why does it look like the guy out of Scott Pilgrim, the vegan guy? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to another reaction of Attack on Titan. So today we're doing series one, episode two. And I gotta tell you, after the last episode, I am especially not ready after seeing Eren's mother get eaten at the end of the last episode. Sorry if you didn't know that happened, but why are you on this video if you haven't seen the first episode? Why are you even watching? Go watch the show yourself. But yeah, I've received a lot of love on this series already. I've received so many comments from people telling me to please continue it and to be really careful with spoilers. Like to be honest, my biggest fear is the recommended videos that YouTube is now gonna recommend to me. I have a feeling that they're gonna like send me a bunch of Attack on Titan videos and I'm gonna get spoilt. But I'm really, really praying that we don't. I am trying to be careful with comments because obviously I want to read them all and reply and let you guys know that I am reading them. But obviously at the same time, if anybody spoils anything, this bitch is going to actually cry. But yeah, I'm so excited to see how things develop in this episode because obviously Eren's mother got eaten at the end of the last episode by a titan and it was not pleasant in the slightest. And I completely forgot about his dad never came home, so he doesn't know about what's in the basement and he'll probably never learn what was in the basement because obviously the house has just been completely destroyed now and they're trying to vacate the area because of the Titans. So I'm really intrigued to know what was in that basement because obviously his dad is away. I can't remember where his dad is. He went to the inner walls or something. Hopefully he's okay. But yeah, I'm desperate to see what happened to everybody in the aftermath of the Titan attack in the last episode. So let's get into it, guys. Nice to know they've got all different body types. <laughs> so much representation in the Titans in this show. <laughs> Right, okay, so there's three lots of walls. So you've got Wall Maria, which is the outer wall that I was focused on, Wall Rose, and Wall Cena, which I'm guessing might be where his dad is, maybe, if he's still alive. I know the Titans obviously came through Wall Maria. I don't know if they managed to get through Wall Rose. The reason they even got through the first wall was because of that su supreme, massive, gigantic red titan that kind of let all the smaller titans through and he i don't know what happened to that guy i mean he didn't seem to bother he just let the little guys in i don't know what happened to him the big giant one uh what happened did he stick around i don't know but i think the other the inside walls might be okay i don't know i guess we'll see but yeah there's three lots of walls at least i understand the layout of the town better now because i know i was asking a lot of questions last time but on that day the fall of shigen shina part two Way nice a lot of people told me this isn't as gory as i might expect it to be i mean that wasn't gory that was nature <laughs> Wait, wait, he's doing this as this is going on? <laughs> like, he's not even waiting until, like, the aftermath or something? Is he accepting it? Is this, like, is he's accepting what's going on at the moment and he thinks that this is God's punishment? I'm so distracted by the fact that the Titans are actually still happening. Like, what, what are you doing, dude? Stop. Run away. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. by the head oh my god this is genuinely making me want to cry because obviously they've had a hundred years of peace and so nobody was expecting this to happen except maybe you know Eren and Mikasa and Armin Armin was expecting this to happen it obviously they all think everybody was stupid for believing that the walls would protect them forever I mean I'd have believed it if I was one of them because you know it, it stopped the titans from coming in for a hundred years that's your lifetime so, it, you know, if it did happen, you probably wouldn't have to worry about it. But unfortunately, it has happened in their lifetime. I'm sorry I'm getting distracted. It's because I've straightened my fringe, but I can still see that it's not straight. <laughs> and it's really bothering me. And I also have my cough. Still, sorry about that. If it's going to bother you during this episode. It sucks to see everybody obviously panicking and trying to run away and get away and seeing their family members die all around them and everything because they've had peace for so long. <laughs> Oh no, we got him! No! It's how they're smiling too. Yeah, someone grab this guy. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Yep, yep. Oh, okay, okay. Bad time to pause. Bad time to pause. He's gonna go for it. Obviously, you can understand Eren's point of view at this point, but obviously, also, you can understand Hans. Hans is definitely in the right here. Even if Eren's mother had got out, she wouldn't have been like able bodied anyway. She was completely crushed under the rubble of the house. So, obviously, she wouldn't be able to move. She wouldn't be able to move her arms. She wouldn't be able to move her legs. There wouldn't be much life for her and she'd probably just die some other way anyway or by another titan further along the road or both of them would have died because obviously she would have been she would have slowed him down if he was trying to carry her and whatever so yeah it sucks that he had to see what he had to see and see his mother die that way but if she didn't have an ex if she didn't die at exactly that point she probably would have died like two minutes later after they rescued her anyway <laughs> And now I'm pausing every five seconds, but I just don't want to miss anything. Obviously, the titans that came in are the sort of titans that people were used to fighting. Like, I guess the smaller titans, not that big, massive guy that appeared in the first episode. I don't know if there's more than one of him. I really need to start paying more close attention about what titans are what. But I think it was a regular titan. So the fact that Hans was too scared to fight when he's supposed to be the leader... Isn't it? I think he's supposed to be the leader of the Royal Guard, right? He's not in the, um, I can't remember what they're called now, the something corps, the survey corps, what Eren wants to join. He's the leader of the town guard, I think. And so you'd think to be a member of the town guard, you'd have to be more than willing to do stuff like that. And he was too terrified to take down this Titan. So obviously he's feeling like a coward right now. So yeah, these, these three are in a very difficult position difficult predicament right now but I think Mikasa's staying quite calm about it I know obviously she's shocked that um her adoptive mother has died because I know I kept asking if Mikasa was our sister or our friend and apparently she is our well Erin's adopted sister so that was her adoptive mother so considering she just had to go through that as well like yeah she's not her biological mother but she's her mother all the same you know she's she's staying quite calm i think not because she doesn't care i think she's just trying to stay level heavy level headed because everybody else keeps trying to lose it so everyone else keeps trying to lose it everyone else is losing it i don't think they're trying to i think they'd rather not but i think this is why i'm probably gonna like her <laughs> unless she has a breakdown now oh here we go what's happening again I thought my headphones were breaking and it's the audio for the show. Never mind. <laughs> right, that's nice to tell people. It's true though, isn't it? So Shigen Sheena is Wool Sheena. No, what were the three walls again? You've got Wool Sinner, which is in the middle, right? Wool Rose, and I think it was Wool Maria. So they've broken through the outer wall and Shigen Sheen is obviously the town where Eren lived and all these people lived. So they're heading to the town in the second lot of walls because I don't think the Titans will get through there, will they, without the big guy? Unsure. The yeah, okay. So everybody on the outside, obviously, as I just said, the city from the outside is what's being targeted. So they had walls protruding to act as a lure and stuff. Jeez, so people living in Shigen China, they're probably not seen as important or anything, right? They're maybe lower class or something. I don't know. Obviously, we'll see as we get further in. But the fact that these guys on the outside means they were more likely going to die when something like this happened. So obviously, their escape route is obviously to go further inside the walls now. <laughs> Ah. Don't, don't wave. This isn't this isn't the time to be smiling, boy. Ah! Uh, please just go inside. Please just go inside. 
Please just go inside. Guys! Oh my god, okay, so obviously they're gonna attempt to use cannons and stuff on them. Please say this works, because these guys are kind of being brave at the moment. They're not running into the walls like everybody else is. They're making sure everyone else is safe. Don't know if Hans is gonna do the same thing. I feel like Hans might be a bit of a coward and try and duck inside the wall without having to fight. Sorry, I keep pausing so frequently. I have to, copyright reasons, but yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the boat is departing now. Shit! Uh. Ah! Let's do it, just shoot! No, they're closing the gate! Is that Hans? Is that Hans closing it? Oh. Uh. Oh my god, it's the giant dude. <laughs> so he is still around. Oh no, it's another one. Nice haircut. <laughs> It looks like something from Tokyo Ghoul. Oh my god, don't know like Naruto run. Please don't. Oh my god. Oh, how much would you shit yourself? Why does it look like the guy out of Scott Pilgrim, the vegan guy? <laughs> this is that guy thinking he's got all sorts of powers to do stuff. Uh, someone's gonna get caught in the gate. Someone's gonna get caught in the gate. Oh, she. What is everyone gonna do now? They can't just obviously keep fleeing to the other walls inside. There needs to be a bigger plan here. This is where I I wonder about how what they're gonna do with the show. I mean, obviously that's where I'm watching to find out don't come at me in the comments for asking all these kinds of questions um but i'm sure you guys did too when you first watched the show for the first time and things it's like how do you how do you come back from this because the titans are so large that they will just like no matter what they'll break through won't they so it's like what do you do with this so yeah interested what uh okay since when could they do that Right, so the other walls are still intact. So it's just the gate that he broke through. So it wasn't like the wall to this next city or anything like that. It was, you know, the wall, the gate to leave and everything is where he's broke through to. And this is a city in the second lot of walls by Wall Rose. So obviously Wall Maria is the one that's just been infiltrated. And this is Rose now, talking about what to do about the people of Shiganshina and obviously what's going to happen to them, I'm guessing. Yeah, Wall Maria is the one they originally broke through, right? Because you got Wall Maria, Wall Rose, and Wall Sheena. Sina? I think it's Sina. In. The middle. Hans, what are you gonna do, buddy? Okay, so this is the dad expecting to go back now and obviously see if everybody's still alive. We've still got Aaron and Mikasa, but obviously Carla was eaten by a titan. So yeah, he was in one of the inner cities where it's okay, like in the town where that meeting just took place. So I'm really hoping he doesn't head back and get eaten now because I want to know what's in this friggin' basement. Oh, the key, the key, the key to the basement! Your dad's still alive, dude. He's got the key. So he's thinking about the basement too. Oh! How did he get the key? The dad, the dad definitely took it with him. 
Evan did not have that around his neck at the beginning of the episode, or am I just blind? The dad definitely took it with him and said he'll show him when he gets back what was in the basement. What the f- Did that genuinely happen then? What was the dad trying to like inject him with? And he's acting all frantic and everything because the mum's died, I'm guessing, but how would the dad be aware yet that the mum had died without Aaron being awake and telling him and stuff. So what just happened couldn't have been real. But how did he get the key around his neck? Well, he doesn't seem to care. Has he had the key the whole time? I must just be being blind then. I swear if I go back, Aaron didn't have the key. But he must have because he's not reacting to having it around his neck. So, okay, I guess I'm just being dumb, bitch. Never mind me. They didn't ask for proof. <laughs> you think they would in a situation like that? Mm. Now, right now, dude, he'll come for you. You can't kick a small child like that. I mean, he obviously is not a small child. I'd say, how old are they? Probably about 14, maybe. But they're just literally starting on a kid. Like, yeah. So I told you that these guys would probably be seen as lower class and everything. But obviously, do not mess with Eren right now. These guys are being stupid. I mean, still had to watch his own mother be chomped on. Do not mess with this kid. <laughs> With what weapon, dude? Yeah, he's gotta be, because it's not happening. <gasps> dude! Hit him! Thank you. So, uh, both of Armin's parents died? Yeah, so Eren's acting all entitled and everything when Armin's lost both of his parents and probably had to watch them die too. You're not the only one that's suffering, Eren. I, I really wanted Armin to be the one to do it because obviously he is the child of the group right now. Not that he's weak at all that we saw from the last episode, that he is capable of standing up for himself. So I was really hoping he'd be the one to do that, but I'm kind of glad Mikasa did it. She just loves beating up on Eren, doesn't she? She did it last episode too. What? Right. Oh. <laughs> eat it. Eat it. <laughs> You'd think no, no one would ever be so sad to see bread, wouldn't you? <laughs> I thought she was gonna take it over like it's mine if neither of you bitches won it. Amen? <laughs> Unfortunately for you. So yeah, what happened was in the following year they tried to get refugees and stuff to make crops and things, like grow crops to cut the food shortage, but that didn't work and so then they sent a bunch of soldiers out to try and retake War Maria, I think, during the following year and that didn't work and out of 250 or so thousand people who went into battle, only like a few hundred was it, or a hundred came back which helped with the food shortage, but then what it was, was Armin wasn't enlisted, like I mistook, it was his grandfather died in that conflict to try and retake War Maria, because I was thinking, I was looking at the hat he was holding and I'm thinking, why is he crying uh, about being enlisted and stuff? What, what importance does the hat have? But it was his granddad's and his granddad was in that war to try and take back War Maria and died. And so in the aftermath, that's when the three of them decide that they're, going to join the kind of army thing. Okay, but if it's been a year and everything, then what's happened to Eren's dad? Where's he? 
Did he try to go home? Did he try and find Erin? Because I think two years have passed because he got the, well, yeah. He got the year everything happened in the first episode and then the year where they sent everybody out to try and recapture War Maria. Um, and I think this is the year after that because you can tell that Armin, or especially Erin, looks different by the end of the episode. You can kind of see Armin looks different too, that they've all kind of changed a little bit because I think it has been several years. But what I struggle with at the moment, which obviously this question might be answered in the future, is how do they not just break through every damn wall? Like, if they got through the first wall and they're still there, because they've tried to recapture War Maria, but there's obviously still loads of Titans around, then how come the Titans have not bust through the other walls? Like, what about the Super Saiyan guy from earlier in the episode who just smashed through the gate? Like, how has he not got through any other walls? Because they went on a boat, didn't they? And so the boat was on water. So is the next wall inaccessible to people on foot? I don't know how the Titans haven't got through yet. But yeah, they're officially recruits now. So obviously the next episode should be very, very, very interesting. So I'm excited to see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Hey, yo. <laughs>